All right, Black Science T111 Oseka 4, I'm back at y'all again. Now, I know y'all been waiting for me to do a video pertaining to the so-called Queen Elizabeth. Y'all call her a queen. I call her a reptilian. I mean, that's her bloodline. But um, the reason why these entities or this bloodline of reptilians in which Elizabeth was connected to, the reason why she left or had to leave it's not because of any natural cause of death. I'm going to say that again. This so-called Queen Elizabeth, who is from the reptilian tribe or bloodline, did not leave this earth because of a natural death. Now, the children that is born today, if you notice, there hasn't been a lot of missing children lately. And the reason why is because the energy that they use from these children when they are in fear, it's not working. It's not keeping them alive. Their biochemical structure is now shutting down these reptilians. And these children that they abduct, that go missing, what they do is they put them in chambers and they torture them to the point where fear starts to come through their pores. And so when the fear vibrates through their pores, what happens is these entities or these reptilians breathe in, right? the sound which carries the chemicals because sound carries chemicals. The wavelength through sounds is the chemical compound of what we call adrenochrome. And adrenochrome is a chemical or a force of consciousness that they use in the form of sound to alleviate their life force and their lifespan to be able to exist on this earth. Because you have to remember in Los Angeles times, you can go look it up on Google, in Los Angeles times, they found caverns under Los Angeles where these bloodline of entities, these reptilians, were living under the earth. Because, again, like I said before, on top of the earth or where we are, we have a certain type of oxygen that they can't breathe in. So they need a third party or a third party chemical compound inside of their body in order for them to be able to exist where we are. So they use different bodies. And these bodies expire at different times. So they use these children, right? They use this chemical inside of these children. This chemical is produced when children are in fear. So they put these kids in FEMA camps or in chambers, and they scare them. And when these kids scream, right, the sound is coming out of their mouth, they breathe it in. They sit in front of these kids while they're screaming, and they breathe in this energy. And what happens is the energy inside of the sound goes down into their bodies, these reptilian bodies. And what it does is it gives them a life, a vital force of life to exist for temporary. It gives them a life force or a vital force to exist temporarily on top of the earth. Once this vital force or this chemical compound gets low in their body, they have to find another child. But the thing is, now the children today are different. This is why they spray chemtrails into the air. Because they're fighting the sun. Why? Because the sun is giving off a consciousness, which is changing the perception of these entities and blinding them right back into where they come from. They are blinding these beings. And they can no longer see their agenda. They're getting confused. The sun is confusing them. Not only that, but the people who are sun people that exist in the form of humanity are confusing them as well. I'm going to say that again. Those people who have a positive relationship with the sun is getting to the point where if they stand next to these entities, they are confusing them. So you have to understand that this earth, right, started off as an experiment from other entities who left it hundreds of thousands of years ago. They came here to experiment and something went wrong. They still come back and forth. They still monitor the earth. Like I said, we have artificial clouds that is now in the sky monitoring the earth. So some of the clouds that you see are not real. Some of the stars that you see are not real. There have been wars on different stars throughout time. This is where your movie, the concept of your movie Star Wars come from. They have wars. They had 50,000 years ago, they had wars on different stars. And certain entities were ran to the earth. 
and they brought certain ancestors here to the earth with them and experimented on them and created a new race. I'm telling y'all, this entity that you call Queen Elizabeth, right? She been dead. It's just that they've been transferring her consciousness or her soul into different brains because this is where your soul sit. This is the seat of the soul right here. But the chamber that keeps records to let the soul know when to leave is in the heart. That's the, that's the natural chamber. So the heart and the brain are always at war with each other as well. Because one want to keep you here and the other one give you the laws to let you know when it's time to go. And so therefore, these entities cannot reside in any chamber of humanity anymore. Because these children that's born today, and these children that was born not only today, but they've been born for now 10 years at least. And they've been abducting them. And they've been trying to use the same tactic that they've been using when they abduct these children to create that chemical to keep them alive, and it hasn't been working. It's like a drug dealer having a, another drug, a different type of drug, and the drug addict buying the drug, and he can't get high no more. These people cannot get high off of fear anymore. They are not able to, to body snatch anymore. And you watch and mark my word. Within the next five to ten years, something is going to happen. And when I say something is going to happen, I'm talking about we're going to start seeing things in the sky. Moving these entities out of existence. Black Science T111, 064, I'm out. Peace.